Hey, this is Josh from JLAffiliates.com, and today I want to talk about how I choose my affiliate offers um, because there are a lot of people who seem to obsess over numbers and data and uh, stuff like that, and they a lot of people, it seems like, ignore a lot of pretty important factors as far as affiliate offers. So I just wanted to put together a quick video just to kind of show you what I've always um, looked at, uh, some of the key points anyway, um, which have resulted in some pretty successful campaigns. So um, as you can see, what you're looking at here is ClickBank. It's the leading digital product affiliate marketplace. There are a lot of different other affiliate, pro, um, affiliate uh, marketplaces out there. Um, I don't only promote Clickbank products I promote other products as well the reason I like Clickbank is because a lot of times you'll see commission rates of at least 50 percent and a lot of times 60 70 you know even 80 or 90 percent commissions and as opposed to for instance physical products most affiliate pro uh, physical affiliate products you're only going to get you know maybe a four to ten percent commission rate which is much much lower than digital so I always like to promote a digital product over a physical product if I can it all depends on the niche um, you know and what and what there is available to sell for that niche but if you can um, I highly recommend doing a Clickbank product or another high commission affiliate product if you can get away with it but what I'm going to get into is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different um, things that I look at. I just now made a little list um, of the things that I, that are important to me. So first off, relevance. Um, you know, a lot of people they'll like, for instance, they come to ClickBank, and this is what they'll concentrate on. This this right here is what they will use to determine whether they're going to promote a product or not. But the fact is, you know, although although this this data is nice to have here, you know, you might glance at it, you know, I'll glance at it, but the problem is this doesn't tell you the quality of the product. You know, I mean, you might have just one person who has just a, you know, a, a million person, you know, email list and anything they promote to it will do some sales and that will increase the numbers and you you know, you just don't know where this traffic came from, where these sales came from, and it's just not really an accurate way of picking out a good quality product that's going to convert, convert to your list or your, you know, affiliate website or however you're getting um, the sales. So, what I'm going to get into should really help you increase your affiliate sales by concentrating on what matters. So, back to what I was uh, about to get into. Relevance is the number one thing know your list you must know your list or your your website or your your traffic source wherever your traffic source is coming from you need to know what those people are looking for and then you know the if I got into that that's a whole different video um, but you know you can do polls to find out send out a poll offer an incentive to take the poll etc cetera, etc cetera. but you need to know exactly what your traffic source is looking for okay so that's the first thing you want to make sure it's relevant um, Looking at chicken coops here, it's kind of a popular niche these days. Um, over the past couple of years, for whatever reason, people found out <laughs> that there are a lot of people out there who have chickens for eggs and even for meat. Um, I actually own a bunch of chickens, which is why I p picked this niche. It's a pretty good example, though, because there's a lot of really good products out there. So, um, you know, make sure that it's relevant you know there's not a whole really much I can get into there just make sure it's a relevant offer you know make sure that's one of your very top priorities making sure the offer is relevant because even if the offer is in the same niche as your traffic source um, whether it's your list or whatever even if it's in the same niche that does not necessarily mean it's going to convert well you need to make sure it is highly relevant for instance the internet marketing niche which I'm also in um, you know there's all, all kinds of internet marketing products out there but you know one internet marketing product could you know make me five hundred dollars when I promote it and another one could make me ten thousand dollars you know when I promote it. it's all in the offer the angle um, and and most importantly the relevance you need to show your people something that they are interested in 100 percent okay so that's number one number two is the sales page quality so let's go ahead and open one of these here's the number one the first one they show and you want to look at the quality of the sales page if the sales page is sloppy just thrown together looks like crap most likely the products gonna be the same um, you know someone who takes pride in in their product who believes in their product 
who believes their product is going to make them a lot of money because it's high quality because that's how you make a lot of money with a product you create a good product so you know if that's the case they're going to put some effort into their sales page as well so in this case you can see the sales page you can you can tell it's amateur it's not a professional designer didn't create this but in this particular situation it's it's put together well you know it, it's not professionally designed but you can tell someone put a lot of time and effort into this sales page it's all it's clean uh, you know it's not sloppy it's not a professional design but it's clean it's a it's a nice sales page this is a good sales page right here they have testimonials they have a guarantee you know they have a lot of content it's not just thrown together um, it's done correctly and that's the and that's an important thing to look at if it's just thrown together you might not want to promote it because for one thing it's probably not going to convert well um, not in this case but if it were just thrown together in a sloppy sales page you wouldn't want to promote it um, because it's probably going to be a low quality product and it's not going to convert well in this case this probably would convert pretty well it seems to be like I said a very good sales page okay so third is price obviously you know you need and this goes back to knowing your target audience you know if your people are accustomed to low paying offers or more importantly especially if you're just getting started um, and you're not you know you haven't made a whole lot of money and you just aren't quite sure just know you know what niche you're in you know is, is your niche full of people who have a little money do you think they would you know have the money to spend on this um, you know there are different niches uh, the 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 users in those niches have different demographics you know um, for instance if you're targeting you know high-end sports cars you know who buys high-end sports cars people who have money most likely so um, you know you could probably sell to them more expensive products um, but if you're talking about you know if you're targeting like a you know discount site or something most people looking for discounts um, are looking to save money because they don't have a whole lot of money so on a discount site uh, for example that might not be the best example but um, you know in general someone who's looking for a discount probably doesn't have a whole lot of money to spend so if you're gonna promote a product to a list or a you know a subscriber base of people who um, got onto your list or who found your blog by looking for a special or a deal for example then you're probably not gonna wanna you know promote anything to them that's too expensive so just keep that in mind the price um, in this case chicken coops uh, kinda of varies you know I'm sure you're gonna have some people with with money some people with who don't um, so you might just want to you know go with something ballpark in this case I would say seventeen dollars is a little low you could probably um, get away with selling you know a thirty seven forty seven dollar product maybe even more depending on what it is so in this situation I'd say that's probably a little low because then you're going to get let's see sixty percent commission on that um, so you're not gonna make a whole lot of money with that one per sale but you know if it's a really good product and it converts really well it could end up making you good money so just you know it's just one of those things you know it's kinda going, going to depend on the product and the niche um, but just kinda keep that in mind mainly the primary thing is you don't want to be promoting something that's too expensive you know if it's a little cheaper okay you know you can just test it out see you know how many sales you do um, you know and just kind of figure out from there whether it's going to be worth it or not and you can always just find a, a product that is still good and a little bit more expensive to where you make some higher commissions if that one doesn't you know convert very well but it's just you know like I said it's something that kind of goes either way but it's just something to keep in mind it is an important factor the price is very important um, fourth the commission as I kind of pointed on um, you know obviously it could be the greatest product in the world you know have a perfect price point have a great sales page that converts well but if you're only making a few bucks per sale it's probably not going to be worth promoting so you want to make sure you know obviously the higher the commission the better um, this one's sixty percent I consider that good fifty percent to me is average all of my products I offer a fifty percent commission I think fifty fifty cut is fair um, for a vendor versus affiliate because you both do you know a big part in making the sale so um, you know as long as it's fifty percent then it's good if it's less than fifty percent and it's a digital product I would think twice because the standard for digital products is at least fifty percent if it's a physical product um, like I said anywhere between four um, even and up to like eleven percent would be good anything over nine or ten percent for a physical product is very good 
um, four percent is kind of bottom of the barrel so uh, but the thing with physical products is typically you'll make more sales it's easier to sell physical products but that's a whole different video in itself as well so we won't get into that um, but look at the commission that's important um, and then next the affiliate material obviously if you're an affiliate the you know what you what they're going to provide to you to sell the product is important um, especially you know like me I like to use banner ads on my small little affiliate sites um, you know obviously if you have a list and you're sending out a promo it's not gonna matter you just use your link but I always go down and look and see if they have affiliate material especially if I'm doing a small um, you know affiliate site rather than sending it out to my list or whatever I want to get some good banners so you always want to look for an affiliate page and in this case they do have one and that goes to the first point you know that they actually have affiliate material whereas a lot of these digital product owners won't so that tells you that they've put time and effort into it as well you know and and, and they want this to succeed so as you can see they have everything here they have the direct um, affiliate link that you can kind of cloak here um, they have they even have keywords for you they have banners they have everything so that's great that's a big plus um, for this one um, so definitely you know look into that and then lastly the age of the product and the relevance so especially with Clickbank you'll get a lot of reports and ebooks that people put together years ago and they're still in the marketplace because they make a sale here and there but they're worthless so you want to make sure it's updated so you know if they have videos watch the videos if they have um, if they allow you to opt in to get you know a, a free chapter or whatever go ahead and do it um, just look at it and, and just kinda make you know as best of a judgment as you can as to if it's outdated or not and that's the main thing a lot of them go outdated um, and it shows on the sales page a lot of times which obviously would prevent people from taking action and buying so you want to make sure it's not outdated in this case it all looks pretty up to date and you know it's it's showing you how to build a chicken coop so that's another thing just think about like what's the subject matter well it does it even matter if it's out of date in this case it probably it wouldn't it would not even matter if it's out of date because you know how you build a chicken coop five years ago isn't going to be um, any different than it is now you know for example so think of the subject matter you know is it going to matter if it's outdated if it does matter then definitely check you know just look at videos read the text read the sales copy um, go to the very bottom see if they have a copyright statement in this case they don't uh, because that'll give you a good understanding too if people are are good about updating their product they'll also update their copyright statement um, like I said there's not one in this case but a lot of times there is so you want to look at that and just kinda give you know the the whole sales page an overall glance and view anything that they're giving to you um, you know offering to you to view go ahead and view it view the videos view any free reports free chapters they give you whatever just to kinda get an idea of um, if it's updated or or not and that's basically it you know like I said a lot of people look at the gravity and all this other data and you know there's that's fine I'm not you know against looking at those things but do not do not um, you know make your decision on whether you're going to promote a product based off of the gravity or you know any of that data that they give because that really doesn't tell you the most important factors and like I said I've been doing this for uh, almost eight years now I've made a lot of money um, in affiliate marketing and these are the things I look at every single time and I've done some really good promos so um, it's some solid advice I hope you take it um, it's a lot of its kinda common sense and that's you know that's a big part of success with affiliate marketing just just using common sense because a lot of people out there um, they want you to go down these really super narrow paths and do specifically this and that and a lot of times it either doesn't work or it only works for a short amount of time um, in this case you know this is just using common sense just just looking at the you know highest level at the products and figuring out what's going to work and what's not going to work so I hope that helps thanks